everyone. So I made it back home uh, after my long trip, and I'm gonna go ahead and talk about boundary supplies and a couple of the things that I've noticed now that I've had time. I've had their shorts for a long time, their shirts for a long time, their bags for a long time, but uh, during the COVID outbreak, they actually had, or before, just before, like about a year before, they actually came out with a clothing line. Um, I've been able to get some of the items through secondhand sellers, not directly from Boundary Supply. Uh, this is not sponsored by them whatsoever, but I found them through eBay. Basically, um, when people got stuck, they gained weight, they gained weight, they had to get rid of clothes, um, which helped me, but also created a bit of dent in my bank account. And um, I'm just gonna note some things about the clothing, the fitting, and some inconsistencies I noticed throughout when uh, when using their products. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, try to see if I could flip this around. So we go ahead and start the video. I'm using another camera now, so there might be some issues, but it's okay. So as I was going before, um, they use this poly matter and then you get like these little balls here. Um, so next one. So here are the shorts. Uh, which I think these I have not seen out in the wild. These are pretty neat because they have multi functions. Here, if you get the keychain made by the company, you could uh, attach it here, slips in through here. Um, they have multiple security pockets. So here it's on the side, it's a pocket that you could hardly see, it's there. You can store your passports. And then here, you get a regular pocket and then built in is another security pocket. So this was, when I got this, I was like, all right, this is pretty well thought out. I like how, I like where this is going. So 32 was just way too big on the waist. Um, very tame on the legs though. It was um, almost like hugging my leg because I have thicker legs. Um, so either way, I went ahead and bought a couple of size 31 pants from them and they are made out of right here we'll see so either way as you guys can see by the way one pant two pant three pant four pant and i actually sent some back to the states so they could be put on ebay again to be sold because i i can't i don't think i'll fit a size 30 or sorry 31 on these the way they're made so I was, either way, I was like, you know what? That's okay. Since these 32 are really thick, or sorry, not really thick, but they're really wide, um, I'll order them a size 31. So I did order the denim. That was my first pair of pants. And they were definitely a different material. This is, um, I wouldn't even call it a two-way stretch. To be honest, I would just call it, I don't know what to call it, to be honest. Um, they're pretty stiff. From my understanding, these need to be worn multiple, multiple times for them to kind of fit in. Um, or, and they kind of tighten up around here and then loosen up back up at the top. So um, if you're somebody who's very skinny legged, or just very fit legs, very little fat in your legs, and that's okay. I'm not a fat person by any means, but I do have big, I have muscular legs, and that created a problem for me with these, because these felt like they were not slim, but they were skinny pants. And that's not really what I wanted. I wanted fit, like slim fit, okay, not skinny. I'm wearing the, the Boundary Supply pants, the denim. Uh, there's still pockets on the side. There is one in the back, a zipper, and a regular pocket. And then it has pockets in the back and in the inside. And the coin, there's a coin here, one coin pocket, which is also for the key if you get the adapter. But it's kind of like blocked in by the belt if you're wearing a belt, which I need to wear on these pants. Um, these pants actually have a lot of attention to detail. The material is like a tactical wool, nylon, and spandex. However, it's a very limited stretch, two-way stretch. Um, 
I'm a size 31, 32 in most pants. I can fluctuate between them both. But this is a size 32 and to be honest, it gives me a little bit of a muffin top because um, they run tight. It's kind of like they, the more you wear them, the more they stretch, obviously. So they, they do require some for you to kind of just use them and stretch them out for a bit um, before they kind of start expanding. If you plan to get these off the shelf and putting them on and feel like they're going to stretch out, they're not. They're not like regular pair of jeans in that sense. They do pack a lot lighter. Um, they, their, their imprint, their footprint is a lot smaller than regular cotton jeans. And also their weight is a lot smaller. The, you feel the fabric is more bonded together than regular jeans too. Um, as far as airing out, um, I've been hiking for about, I guess, an hour now. I'm here in still in Kunming in some place called the Dwarf Village uh, or the Dwarf Kingdom depending on what you want to call it. Uh, it's a very interesting place. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I have big legs. Uh, my legs and my calves tend to be very muscular and um, basically I would recommend that if you're a size 31, 32, get them at 33 and so a size and a half larger than what you are. Um, you can hardly get these anymore. They stopped making them. I was fortunate enough to go on eBay and I bought like every single pair that fits me. 31, 32, 33 basically. And I bought them all. Uh, which is something that most people I know cannot do. I, there's the pants and there's the denim. I will recommend the pants. They are thicker. Their fabric does stretch out a lot better. And they are quite nice to be honest. Uh, they do have tactical grippers that are on the sides on each on the pants not on the denim uh, which I would think are really really good for for what you're going to use it for you can use them for work for hiking for exploring it's just a really nice pair of pants and the zippers are basically you can hardly see them which makes them ideal have the pockets on the sides these are the pants so you can stick in some money a credit card a key uh, anything you might want to store that's a small uh, a credit card ID driver's license stuff like that and then you have another one here that's a little bit bigger here you can store a passport depending on the size money or any type of ID and then in the back you have another pocket back here which I'm trying to get the zipper on right here all right there we go and then you have a regular fitting pocket right here. So you end up getting two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, here you can put in change or anything like that. So you get eight pockets really going around, uh, which can be very sourceful. Uh, these are great for traveling, especially if you're gonna do hiking and stuff like that or getting up north where it's a little bit warmer, uh, I feel like. But yeah, these fit. With a, with a nice belt, they will fit all right. They're not too loose. The legs are a little bit tight. Let me see if you, if you, if you guys can go ahead and see this. Yeah, they're not too, too tight, but they do stretch a little bit. Uh, the fabric does try to adapt to your skin, which is kind of nice, um, and how thick and stuff like that they are. I do notice that occasionally there'll be like some fabric little balls from use. Um, it feels like it's something that they could have prevented a little bit more with quality control. I get it with the shorts, which I've had a while now. Um, but the pants feel great, to be honest. I don't have any issues with them. And these are 3230. Um, they fit all right. And I said before, they're a little bit baggy. They do stretch. Uh, let me see if I could move this up a little bit more without really. Okay. Yeah, so they do stretch. Um, I could expand them. There's like a three-way stretch where most people say four-way or two-way. Um, they stretch enough, but not too much. And I like this about them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead now and try the 32 jeans so you guys can see a bit of a difference between the fabric, the stretch, and how it kind of like grabs the body differently. Okay, so here are the jeans. Um, they do have a pocket in the back. I did have to take it to um, 
a seamstress because the pocket was not sewn in too well, but I had no problems with that. They don't have any pockets on the side. And so you guys can see these pants are a little bit definitely tighter on the legs than the other ones since they kind of stay still though I'm a size about 29 um, in length these scrounge up at my at certain points of my legs so the fabric runs up so I can't really get them fitted too too well to like 29 uh, I guess 29 because I'm afraid that if I'm walking and stuff like that or if I wash them, I still haven't washed them yet. I wore them for about a week. Uh, I'm afraid that they will lose their their fitting and that they'll shrink up again. And it took me a while just to get them relaxed enough where um, I meet resistance right here. While with the other ones, they're really flexible. Um, these don't have as much play as the other ones, as you guys can see. It's more of a light two-way two stretch. It expands at the waistline, but then, I don't know if you guys can see this here, it kind of goes like this. But right here, it's really tight. And if this was a little bit looser, it will make things so much easier because then you're able to sit down without the pant kind of like scroll, like going down uh, because they're tight fitting around here, around, I guess, this area. Um, and then I always have to usually pick up my pants when I get up or um, I That or show underwear, which I don't I don't really like to do um, They do have this really cool thing though and all of them do all the pants is that when you roll them up Right here like this if you were to do something like this. They do have the boundary supplies logo here um, And it says rock land water, which I found to be really neat um, but yeah, it's, they're just, I don't know why they will make them this fitting. I guess it's, it's the best way to say it, especially when the rest, most of the world is, has, I guess, they're, they're not ultra skinny. Nobody fits under skinny pants. So uh, most of the people, people do, but most of the people fit under slim, not skinny. Um, so yeah, so I think you guys probably could see it in this knee right here. It's getting scrounged up because it gets stuck. Let me see if I'm able to move it forward enough. Yeah, I have my calves are a little bit more defined. So if I were to run them, if I were to hem the pants, um, they will come out short um, because they technically are supposed to be going down. And this is part of the wear and tear process, which I mean, I just want pants that when I put them on, they fit. They fit right. Um, and if there's a little bit of wear that I have to do before it stretches out, that's fine. I wear it for a couple of days. Um, this has been two weeks of wearing these pants, basically almost nonstop to three weeks. Uh, and that's why I think I would recommend that if you were to get these pants, um, even though I'm a size, as I mentioned before, I'm a size 32. I would recommend you get a size 33 if possible. It's better that they're bigger on the waistline because then you can get them uh, fixed due to the fact that the waist, just below the, the I guess the, the waistline where you kind of put them together, buckle them up, it's tighter. It kind of goes like in a V shape and then as you guys saw in my pants, they expand. Um, unless you're one of these people who's just like very narrow on the hips, then these pants might be perfect for you right off the bat. There might be very little uh, wear um, and tear that you have to do into them to kind of get them to fit just right. Uh, for me, uh, they are a little bit too rigid. I do like rigid rigidity in pants. I like it when I put on, uh, when I put in things in the pockets that they don't kind of show or have a silhouette or a shadow of what I have in my pockets. I like that discretion. And you get this with these, they, they are stiff. Um, these are a little bit, these are the, the pants. I have them in two colors. I wish I had them in gray. Uh, either the jeans, the denim, or the pants, the right pants. I would have taken 32 if I find these, but they're very rare. Ultimately, I would definitely recommend these, um, especially the pants. 
if you're going traveling, they are water resistant. Um, they do have the pocket security stuff, which I haven't seen anybody kind of integrate it almost to the point where you could wear these for work. And nobody will tell the difference. You go hiking with them and, you know, the next day go to work and they take they take care of the not only the moisture, but the odor. Uh, so that's what thing that part of me wearing these in the heat this past week and in all terrains going walking, sweating and stuff like that. I never really felt like, well, the top of my body was sweating. Uh, the, my legs were never sweating it felt kind of weird because usually when you get the, the I guess the chest and the lower back sweats usually you feel your legs like they're especially with pants or, or jeans like they're sweating too basically um, and I didn't get that with these so I would definitely recommend that uh, to you if once again if you're somebody who's very little fat or and or has very uh, slender legs these pants will be perfect for you and I recommend the denim will be perfect and I will recommend them for traveling. If you're looking for the pant, um, they're truer to size. I could probably fit between a 32 or a 31 in these. So that means, which is where I'm at right now um, in this season, I, I'm hoping to scale back a little bit back to going to 30, 31. But these are truer more to what you find out there. And the denim will be basically just get a, a, a size to a size and a half bigger. It'll do you a lot better. Uh, I've traveled with Western Rise pants. I've done a bit of traveling with most other brands, Bluffworks. I do have a pair of Aviator pant, uh, jeans. Um, the Aviator jeans always felt too baggy, too loose, even at the size 32, which is where I'm at, 31, 32. The Bluffwork pants are the poly matter they use, I don't think it's the best for cold weather. For warm weather, like hot, hot weather, I didn't like the way they felt, to be honest. I felt my legs sweating more with those than with these, where I didn't feel my legs sweat. Um, I'm in Shenzhen right now, it's about 38 degrees Celsius. So it's in the 90s, basically. And with these, I feel a lot I feel the heat, but I don't feel the sweat, which is weird. Um, so I guess they're doing something right. Where the pants that are heavily on nylon tend to be thinner. Those are pretty good, but I didn't like the, the fit that they have. Especially the, the Western rights are a little bit baggier. So if you're okay with baggier clothing, that's okay. And I fit in a very weird size between 31 and 32. If they had like a 31 and a half, I would be like in there. 31 is a little bit too tight. 32 is a little bit too loose. So I have to go with 32. Um, aside from that, yeah, I think that that ends the video to this review. So uh, in a way to compare how these pants stack up against each other, when you, pack, when you go to pack and you know how much space they take. Here I have the Western Rise and I'll go ahead and show the the tag. These are Western Rise. These are the boundary. These are Gap jeans, regular cotton jeans. And then these are the um, boundary supply pants. All right, so I'll go ahead and start with a minor comparison between these three. It is obvious that the jeans are the thickest up to now. Uh, there might be a slight comparison between these two and I think there it will be the pants so let's go ahead here and check I guess we could level that at a one inch and let's see here we get about well let me see if I measure it at the bottom it'll be about one inch too but then you have this part here because the Western Rise have um, a really nice like thigh divider thing like uh, extra fabric on the thigh so it makes it a bit bulgier on the corner while this one really really doesn't um, and it packs up even slimmer if you push it down a bit the jeans are it's about one and a half almost two and then the boundary are about an inch and a quarter 
but then if you go back here yeah press them down actually you get about an inch so this is kind of like uh, you get to see what you're getting yourself into if you look at these pants obviously the boundary I think pack the easiest um, the Western Rise are a close second uh, these are the black regular ones the app pants if I'm correct and then um, the boundary pants which are I guess more work you can use them for work I think they look nicer they look more like tactical work pants and then the jeans which are cotton and these are gap jeans gap denim you guys can see that the tag yeah which I love gap jeans they fit me pretty well these are a size 31 and they're a little bit loose so yeah so I hope that gives you guys an idea as to also how these boundary uh, denim pack or if you go with the pants um, how they pack um, ultimately I guess we will go boundary western and then regular jeans and I think that way it'll give you guys a pretty good insight as to whether these are worth it for you or not